What is your approach to building PBNs in 2021? If you get an auction domain, do you try to rebuild it within the old site's niche or do you build it to suit the relevance of the targeted site? You can do both. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it just depends on what you're doing. So for me, if I'm buying domains that are going to be a private, like my own personal PBN network that I'm going to use on a specific asset, meaning that the entire purpose of this of this um, PBN is to go after my own money site, then I'm going to make it very relevant, right? I'm going to try and make these links. So I'll buy the age domain specific to that niche if I can, even if they're news-based, then I'm going to spin them or let the titles, etc., to be relevant to my niche. And I'm going to make it hyper relevant. If I'm buying PBNs for our rentals network, I'm going to generalize them a little bit more and then have them have multiple categories so I can, you know, easily file things that fall under like a sort of umbrella category. So in that case, it'd be more like broad things like tech, outdoors, travel, et cetera. And, and just to kind of like, to kind of take the focus off of us and put it onto you, how you could translate that is, um, you know, a private PBN network for a single site versus you creating a PBN, say, for your SEO agency, right. right? And that you're using on on multiple sites from the same PBN, right? So you'd want them to be, if you're if you're trying to get more use out of a, a single PBN domain than, than only boosting one site, um, you're going to want to go a little bit more general on the relevance. I'm not saying like general, general, like, you know, literally everything, but um, you know, basically up a parent niche or two. How, however you know, it's not a must that your PBN is relevant to past use. Um, there's plenty of news websites out there that rank, that link out to all sorts of different things. Um, a very powerful site, um, you know, is still going to pass juice. Um, but, you know, if it's targeted to a specific site again, yeah, you can uh, make it more relevant to that asset and just boost the efficiency by which that PBN will work. Yeah. So, you know, whether you do the, um, whether you rebuild it into the old sites niche or, um, the niche of the targeted sites really kind of, kind of be, um, it's going to kind of be up to you and, you know, your future use of that PBN, what all it's going to be targeting, um, and the actual, you know, like where it stands. Like, so maybe you've got a, a dog food site and you bought a PBN domain. That's just like general news. Well, you could just, uh, leave it general news to link out to multiple sites, or you could, um, you know, target it down to dog news or just something all about dogs and, and use it only on your, your dog website or other clients that have dog websites. When, when you're just getting started, if you're building your own PBN, I would warn against using it on multiple money sites, because that's yeah. when you're going to create a footprint across your PBN and money sites, um, which is its own kind of advanced theory on how to use PBNs, how much overlap you can have and things like that, which is literally based on experimenting. Um, so yeah, I would uh, tread lightly when doing stuff. So yeah, like I that. guess I guess if you're asking this question, um, I would probably stay away from using PBNs on multiple sites. And so you could probably pretty safely um, uh, to answer your question, you could probably just retheme the the site a little bit more towards the niche of the target site that you're going to be using it on, right? And then let's say you find like a really nice buy um, and it's not in your niche at all. Let's say you've got a website about dog toys. You find something that's about, um, I don't know, um, water bottles, right? You can retheme that site by making the title and the re the relevance of the PBN's content um, dedicated to like, you know, water toys for dogs, something along those lines. And so then you're boosting the relevance in conjunction with that backlink profile of a website that didn't historically have anything to do with your niche, but it will still play into um, passing juice and relevance to your asset. So repurposing domains is something you can do.
Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Be sure to check the description below for links to our blog for more info on this topic, along with a bunch of other cool stuff like case studies, our Facebook community, and our link building services. And like always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell if you enjoyed the video. Thanks and happy ranking.